Do you know what this is? I believe this is the um, knife that Miss Heard gave to Mr. Depp as a gift. All right. And you speak Spanish? Un poquito. Do you know what it says? Yes, it says hasta la muerta, until death. So a woman you suggest has characteristics of being afraid for her life, gives her intimate partner a large knife, which she has inscribed <laughs> until death. That's your testimony? Well, there's context. Okay. Uh, we can do that later. All right. How many times did she admit to hitting him? She indicated a number of times in a number of instances. You indicated that you would listen to audio recordings as part of the work you did in this case? That's correct. All right. I'd like to play you a portion of one of those recordings. It's Plaintiff's Exhibit 343. Tell Travis what just happened. Well, you told me to do it. You told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, you tell, tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. fucking thing. And you, you figured it out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I didn't watched punch you lie. And then I didn't I punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slot, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, when you fucking have a close You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you started. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, Johnny. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Anything about this tape suggests to you that it's characteristic of reactive violence? In this instance, if true, if she said she hit him first, then that would not be reactive violence. You suggested if you, that... Uh, Ms. Hurd sustained more severe uh, injuries, correct? I think I said more frequent injuries. Throwing a can of mineral spirits at your spouse is characteristic of reactive violence? If you are running away from your spouse who is trying to hurt you, yes. All right. So, so you, you can throw a can of mineral spirits. What about if you throw a can of Red Bull? Again, it depends on like, the incident I think that you're referring to that was not necessarily reactive violence. That was in a state of frustration or anger. Right. So, so when you throw a can of Red Bull in a state of frustration or anger, that's not reactive violence? No. Right. What about if you throw a bottle of vodka because your husband fell off the wagon? Is that reactive violence? Are you asking me hypothetically? I'm asking you, would that, would that be a characteristic of, of reactive violence? Throw a bottle of vodka because your husband fell off the wagon. If it's in the middle of an assault, perhaps? If it's independent of that? No. Right. So, for instance, if your husband was just having a couple of shots at the bar. Again, you would need more information and context to no, make right. that determination. All right. I, you don't think that's a, a reflection reflective, uh, uh, of reactive violence? And you'll agree with me that when you throw the second bottle, that's not reactive violence. 